Hi, let us look at what are subsets. Now, a subset is a set which is a part of a bigger set. That is what a subset is, as the name implies. So, let us look at this cloud which shows a set of four numbers, one, two, three, and four. And let us say that this is our set. And what we do is we just take two numbers out of this, or two elements, one and two, and put it into another set. Then this is a subset because it is a smaller part of this bigger set over here. And that is what a subset is. Now, how do we represent subsets in set theory? This is how we represent it. Don't get bogged down by the symbols. Let us just understand it slowly. Now we say that a set A here is a subset of B. And this sign over here, the sign of a C with long tails, this, this is a sign of subset. So A is a subset of B if an element A belongs to a set A implies that the element A also belongs to B, which means that for this, all the elements of set A must be present in set B as well. And this is how we represent subsets. Now, what are the key conditions for a subset? So for A to be a subset of B, every element of the set A, which is the subset, right, must be present in B. And we will understand this using an example later on. But the key thing to remember is that every element of this subset must be found in the bigger set, that is the set B. The second condition for a subset is that if A is a subset of B, and A is not equal to B, that is the set A and set B are not equal, which means they do not have exactly same elements, then we say that A is a proper subset of B and we also say that B is a superset of A. Now let us look at a simple example. Let us say that we have a set B which has elements 1, 2, 3 and 4, these four numbers, and the set A comprises of two numbers, 2 and 3. Now if you look, we said that for the definition of subset, we said that A belonging to A, that is any number A or any element A belonging to the set A must imply that that element belongs to the bigger set B as well. So if you look at here, this number 2, it belongs to A and 2 also belongs to B. So this condition is true. If you look at the other element that is the number 3 it belongs to A and it belongs to B as well so again this condition is fulfilled for both the elements so for each element of the subset it should be found in the set B as well so in this case A is the proper subset and B is the superset so this was our definition and key conditions for a subset in the next video we will learn about the properties of subsets